Our unsung hero is Lewis Howard Latimer. He was born on September the 4th, 1848. He was born in Chelsea, Massachusetts, into a family of escaped slaves. They later settled in Boston. When his father abandoned the family, he got a job as an office boy in a patent law firm for $3 a week. This was in order to try and help support his mother and three other siblings. Latimer enlisted in the Navy at age 15 during the Civil War, but when it ended, he returned to Boston. During his time in the patent law firm, he taught himself mechanical drawings and was allowed to make some technical drawings as well. He was recognised for his drafting skills and eventually promoted to head draftsman at Crosby and Gold for $20 a week. Latimer was tasked with making the initial drawings for Alexander Graham Bell's telephone patterns. This required spending large amounts of time with the inventor. Latimer then relocated to Bridgeport, Connecticut and started to work for Hiram Maxim at the US Electric Light Company. Edison's light bulbs at this time burnt out within a few days. Three days later. Latimer developed a method for producing more durable carbon filaments. He invented a way of using a cardboard envelope to encase the filament, which stopped the carbon from breaking. This provided the bulb with a much longer lifespan, which in turn made bulbs less expensive for the public. Electric lighting was made available to be installed within homes and streets. Thomas Edison hired Latimer in 1890, where his creativity was able to flourish. In 1894, he created a safety elevator and then aimed to make hospitals more sanitary and climate controlled. As well as Latimer's engineering feats, he went on to promote the civil rights of black citizens in the USA. Latimer died on 11th of December 1928 and is our unsung hero because he affected all of our daily lives.